and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Drakes. So this is our last donation deck of the night. This was a deck that we played against during the sub battle stream and it looked pretty good and we're going to try it out ourselves. Um, looking at the deck list here, first thing that kind of jumps to mind is that we have no Teferis whatsoever in the main or even in the sideboard. And so we'll see. I kind of feel like we could use a three mana Teferi, but I understand wanting to play a deck that doesn't have Teferi in it at all. You know, I understand like not really liking Teferi and just wanting to get rid of the card. So um, yeah, we have a, a lot of good spells. And I like all these one mana spells. You know, I, I love having 10 one mana spells. That is awesome. You know, we have a ton of two mana spells also. I really like the the curve of this deck or just like the the amount of cheap spells. Um, so, you know, letting us double uh, double spell early and often. I like it quite a bit where we're not going to just be sitting with a bunch of spells clunking up our hand later on in the game. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting to try. I think we should change out our lightning strikes. Yeah, this isn't really an Ascanta deck. I'm fine with no Ascanta in here. Because Ascanta doesn't find your threats, your creatures. I guess it, it does, in a roundabout way, finding like card draw. Um, but did I say 10 and it's 12? Sorry. It's we're getting we're getting late later on in, into the day. But then yeah, we have a lot of like pretty uh, pretty big uh, spells in the sideboard. Oh, this looks like a fun deck to play. Let's get to it. Jeskai Drakes. I know Storm's the biggest Drake fan. And is it in here now? It's going to be watching this tomorrow on YouTube. So hi, Storm. Yeah, I mean, f yeah, Finale of Promise can be a good card with all the, the ones and twos. I mean, there's there's a lot of good cards like that you can play like that. Um, a lot of good cards with ones and twos, but the, the more of those kind of cards that you play, then the less ones and twos you have, though. Hmm. We may not be spell piercing against Sultai. So I'm hoping that they don't have very much removal and that our Enigma Drake can do a lot for us. Um, I guess we chart a course first, so we have more information. Ugh, these cards are all pretty good. Hey, Phoenix. Oh, that hasn't been too tough. And Spell Pierce is great. And playing Counter Magic is nice. Uncounterable spells is not nice. That went from nice to not nice real quick. Mm -hmm. 
it's a two-turn clock with the Ceratops. We have a two-turn clock also. Or, I mean, so three-turn clock with the Ceratops. We have a two-turn clock. So, like, with just heads up here, we have this one, but all they have to do is play any creature. So we have to, like, find removal. Yeah. That does not help me. No, I need to keep that. I put that back in my hand. I need that white mana. Ugh. I I started to discard it, then realized I need the white mana, so I put it back in my hand. Well, that's... Because then I could Justice Strike... The 5-4, I could block the 6-7 and, and give Enigma Drake pro white or pro green and keep it alive. And the trample would not kill us. But I needed that white mana. That's unfortunate. I thought I put it back in my hand. Cause yeah, I, I was like, well, I don't want the shock land, I want the, the non-shock land. So I start I clicked it at first. I was like, wait, no, I need I need two white. So I put it back, and so then whenever I released it, it's still just discarded. All right, green stuff's tough. Yes, time wipe. I think about Sahili or Ral. Is there going? There's Sultai. Hmm. That was unfortunate. Dispersal would not have stalled us at all. Like, dispersal... We were dead if we played Dispersal. Well, I don't even think we have black mana anyway. If they have turn one land or elves, I would have wished I would have shocked. Okay, they, but they don't, so that's good. Way pick fail. Really kind of you. Thanks for that huge cheers. And welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Hexproof gets us again. Oh, well, well, thank you very much. Glad to have you here. Okay, we can shock another thing or just play Crackling Drake. It's just better to play Crackling Drake. Let's just get this thing in play. I mean, yes, they can have more mana for this next turn. Look at that. 
But they don't have blue mana, because we got rid of that thing. So we don't really need to worry about a counterspell. No blue mana over there. That was pretty good. The old Clarion Concede. Clarion, pretty good. All right, game three. The all important game three. Can we finish this one out? I'm pretty confident. Well, if the game goes like that again. I guess I'd feel confident after a game that happens like that, but... Um, I'll keep it. I really like the art on Enigma Drake. It's a card that looks really good there. Jun build with Baby Vraska, Angrath, Liliana, Command the Dread Horde. Um, I have one that's doesn't have a uh, doesn't have Command the Dread Horde, but I have a, a Jund Super Friends deck that's similar. Has the rest of those cards. Altalus with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Getting those hype boats in here. Thanks, Altalus. Welcome. Bad Risen Reefs. Get on out of here. Pump up this power. Discovery is reasonable. Does a good job pumping up power. Yep, two games in a row, the opponent not having lands. That's the thing about relying on mana creatures to survive. And, you know, cutting a bunch of lands because you have mana creatures is that if the, the mana creatures die, it can be rough. Yeah, that was match number one with Jeskai Drakes. Um, looking for... I'll go look for the... I'm looking for the, the John to Super League. Called it the Justice League, the Super Friends deck. I like the Justice League. Here we go. 
Countdown. There you go. There's there's the list there for Kuki. Yeah, mine was an explore package. So a little different. Deafening Clarion. I should just play the Hollow Fountain there. I basically started to play Enigma Drake and then pulled back on Enigma Drake. Elves. Clarion. 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 I'm digging for Clarion. I'm digging. So they go proliferate to be able to add another counter on Marwin. No, oh, all right, go and counter on Shalai. Makes sense. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. Wait, I guess I have to choose green, don't I? Yeah. They're gonna let their Vivian die. Clarion, where are you? Back to the woods. Ugh. I liked those previous two games whenever we drew Clarions. Ugh. Marwin's gonna get too big now. Probably can't. Come on. Let's try to course better than a random card. Keep up Veto again. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess I, I can't actually attack with both. I'm gonna attack with one though. I 
Remember, we cannot lightning strike them or any other creature because of Shalai. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't think of the memo. It's the best of three. I could see four Clarion main. Could honestly see that. No. Bad Vanquisher's banner. Get out of here. So we need to find a shock. So we can strike and shock Shalai. Now Clarion's a lot better than Flame Sweep. Get the life gain in there too. The life link in there. I'd play all four Clarions before I'd play one Flame Sweep, but but as far as like, do we need Flame Sweep in in addition? I mean, I I'm, I'm not completely against the idea of also playing Flame Sweep, like in the sideboard. And there we go. Drakes. So get this coil in here. I, I do think we at least need the fourth Clarion in the sideboard if we don't have it in the main. I could see going with like Ral here and just going control route. Don't hate like melody. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to go control full control route against them with banner and everything. Yeah, Enigma rotates. Yeah, yeah. This Enigma Drake rotates. All right, gonna get rid of spell pierce. I kind of want to keep veto though. They're the scariest cards are like the planeswalkers and stuff like that. I want to trim a god's willing, have its second veto. Maybe not play this Ral. No, Ral's good. Alright, Ral in. Could take out a Niv. Yeah, we'll take out a Niv for Ral. I think I like Ral more than Niv. Yeah, that was they were they were definitely slow because they didn't have like a ton of mana. So yeah, they were they were slow. Um if they would have ticked up with with their Vivian instead of minus, I would have lost that game. Like they, they could have used their, they could have used their Vivian better. Yeah, I think Fry only is like Shalai is like their only card, their only target for Fry. Probably should have shocked him with Sacred Foundry so we could have a blue mana the next next turn. Never punished. Never punished. Um Next proof. Dang. I was like, we do need a, a land for this Ral, but we could probably draw another land be between 
the card, the other card we get off the opt, our draw step, the card we get off Crackling Drake, and the next draw step. And yeah, we did. Now, we've got to get Marwin out of here. There, there's a reason why the card is called Marwin and not Marlu's. Very strong. Wow. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. Wanna do that pre combat so maybe we put a spell into the yard that pumps the crackling drake. But Drake should just be lethal here. Well that rattle's pretty important. Alright, another clean win. This one was a lot easier than the first one. Or the game two is a lot easier than game one because we drew crackling or we drew deafening clarion, but our opponent got stuck on lands both games. So a lot of games of our opponents getting stuck on lands, but they're wins for us. So we'll take them. Yeah, two O Drakes. Drake's winning as much as any of the other decks. Like if we get two more wins, it could be like the other three decks put together. But let's get there first. It's nice playing a bunch of one and two mana spells. Always being able to play your spells. We do need land here. I'll Shock for the opt in this scenario. Aggressive shock, but if we're going, if we're going Enigma into Crackling, I want that in the in the yard for this attack, which is exactly what we're doing. So shocking there, dealt an extra point of damage, plus. Um, you know, let us free up a mana here. We gotta do... Yeah, that, that freed up mana looks pretty vital. Looks like that shock can win it for us. Um, I mean, we just keep it, but... Does this lethal... Looks like it. Looks like it. Good thing we cast that shock earlier. So we had a couple deafening clarions. We won. Let's see how good these clarions have been. Um. Ooh, give me this thing. Give them an emblem. <laughs> that was fast. 
Our deck can win pretty quickly. Things go right. So I have God's Willing. And then Shock and Strike aren't spectacular, especially Shock. But do I want, like, Rao? Probably want this Chandra. Yeah, I want that Chandra over a Shock. Okay. I don't think we play anything else. I think the other card, the next card that would be interested in is Rao. So, like, would I rather have Rao over something else here? Um... No, I'd rather have Niv. Niv's going to be better than Raul is. I don't know if Raul's better than Strike or Shock. Niv's, Niv's good. Like, even if my opponent starts going off whenever they cast Instants and Sorceries, we deal damage to him. Yeah, I'm thinking God's Willing because, like, they're, I don't know, like, they're Bounce Spells and stuff. Yeah, we're on the draw. So yeah, Ral's just probably too slow. And yeah, like they're gonna have their bounce spells. Like, who knows what else they have? That like what interaction they have. Um, you never know. Yeah, we got a counter spell. We got a charter course. We can go with this. This is so tough. If we chart a course, they can resolve Wilderness Reclamation. I mean, I think we need to to, to hit land drops. Though. I know I could wait and opt. Though, but I need to just cast my spells. All right, we'll see if that was. See how much of a mistake that turns out to be. Rao does kill planeswalkers. Let me aid your research. No, we don't really deal with enchantments. Now this, this one looks over. Definitely over. I think I want this over shock. Or over strike? No, over shock. I do like how, you know, like how that just can kill like the planeswalkers. Yeah, it's better on the play. Definitely better on the play. Hmm. Rao doesn't kill walkers? It's been a while since I played Rao. Um... If I was so, if I question is if I wasn't streaming, would I make my opponent play that out? And the answer is no. 
I value my time. Like, I already... That game's over, and I value my time more than... Like, I didn't, don't want to sit sit there for another 10 minutes and wait for the game to end when it's already over. Where's our lands? Okay, there's a land. Do I get a strike or shock? I'm keeping Chandra. Okay, Chandra emblem can be really beneficial. Um, yeah, e even in a tournament, probably not. Um, especially depending on, like, time and round and stuff. If <clears throat> if I'm worried about, like, in a tournament, like, where, you know, you can have um, communication and everything, I would, I would say something like, uh, just, in, in, like, ask them in their deck to show me what they're going to uh, tell them. Hey, I'll concede if you just tell me. Like, show me in your deck what, what you're going to use to kill me, because I, I think I'm going to lose this just to save time. Like, what are you going to use? Like, what's in your deck that you're going to use to kill me? And I'll concede. And obviously they would oblige to that, because they would have to use that whatever, whatever they would show me they would have to use to kill me anyway. So just speed the process up. So that's what I would do in, a, in paper magic. So we can either not play anything and hold up the the farce of having a counter spell. Or try to kill them next turn. Plus draw a card. Look for... Try to get to these six mana cards. These six mana cards are really valuable. And so, yeah. I like playing the card. We really want to draw land here for Chandra. Wow. They're just putting themselves dead? They're just putting themselves dead to any spell? All right, so obviously our opponent didn't. So like our opponent didn't have anything to stop us, right? And you saw there, they played the Chemist's Insight second. They played Grow Spiral first. I really think they should have just um, played the Chemist's Insight because casting Chemist's Insight on end step with that extra mana, the Wilderness Reclamation gives them would would let them have two mana still, so the chem, they could Chemist's Insight into a two mana card. Where by playing Grow Spiral first, that cost them one of their manas. So I think you just do the draw two and have two mana. And, you know, like that gives you two cards to find the a two mana interaction spell, whether it's a bounce spell or a, or a fog or anything like that. And Valorian says, I just had the craziest game of Soul Tide Treachery. I beat Esper Control after they got a Teferi Emblem on around turn seven using Elder Spell. And they were at 26 life. That is awesome. And you won about turn 25. Wow, that is crazy. So they had a Teferi Emblem on like about turn 7 with Elder Spell, and you won around turn 25 or so. Wow. That is awesome. Dude, good, good job. Way to fight through all that. And not give up. You had, you had 5 cards left in your deck when you won? Wow. What a game.
Is it? All right, so it's mana creature deck again. So every deck we play against is either they're all blue green decks. They're either mana creature, or we had the. Yeah, I want both of these. <clears throat> or we had the reclamation. Has this just been four for four blue green? Pretty sure, right? Or no, I guess the first one was green splash white, but still just green mana creature, same kind of thing. They've all been green decks though. Crackling Drake, of course, outraces Omnath. I'm thinking, like, if they have, like, Nissa ne next turn, I want to get pressure going. <clears throat> if they had Cavaliers of Thorns the next turn, I would have rather played the Lightning Strike. Wow, that's a lot of good cards. I just can't get through Cavalier, can I? Cavalier Thorns is so difficult. We have like Justice Strike. So close. Looks like if I would have. I guess we would have died to the Omnath. I say, like, what if we didn't kill Omnath and sent all those other burn spells upstairs? But no, we would have died to Omnath. I kind of wish we had removal for Cavalier Thorns in here. Yeah, it's only minuses for creatures, but this can kill a Cavalier. At five mana, we can kill a Time Wipe, we can kill it with this thing. There's got to be a cheap spell in Jeskai Colors that kills Cavalier Thorns, right? The, like, Exiles. I mean, I guess just besides enchantment removal. I was hoping, like, an instant or sorcery. Obviously, there's, there's like, three mana enchantment removal. Fortunately, Justice Strike doesn't do it. O ring slows it down, or yeah, ether gust slows it. Ether gust slows it down for a turn. Well, they they do a good job of getting a lot of mana, so I'm, I'm going to cut the spell pierces. Play the time wipe. Play Ral. Play melody. Play coil, play coil. All right. Keep the one veto in just to do something. I don't know what the veto is going to do yet. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll counter Anissa. That'd be ideal. Yeah, set settle doesn't let me attack, you know, get rid of it so I can attack. It's a tough one.
Well, if we have... God's willing... We should probably wait a turn on our Enigma Drake. This helps me get through a 5-6. God's willing does. Pro green. Get rid of those lands. Yuck. What are all these lands doing? No card we haven't drawn. Niv Mizzet. Yeah, we can use some more niv -Mizzet. Upstairs. Need to pressure them if they have, like, crisis or anything like that. Looks like Krasis. Of course, they gain however much life they of cards they draw, but then they lose that again, so they don't actually gain any life with Niv Mizzet in play. Right? No. That's whenever I draw. Never mind. Never mind. Check that. Sorry, my bad. Mm. That didn't help. Didn't help. Tried going for the win there. You know, if we hit well off the lightning strike, went for the win. But we did not. Which we, we haven't had that many cheap spells, so, you know, all we had to do is hit like an opt or a charter course, and, you know, we probably win from there, but we didn't. Or at the very least, we would have made them trade Krasis for Enigma Drake. Honestly, just, yeah, just in like a charter course. But, uh... Oh well.
Yeah, we could draw Time Wipe. Um, they would still have the Nissa, but it would be a good start for us. And they would still have the Cavalier Thorns that would be able to put Krasis back on top. I went for the win because I, I knew that like if they untapped like with all the cards they had after the Krasis, it was going to be bad for us. So I went for the win with going with the Lightning Strike upstairs and everything. Which I'm, I'm glad we did because that was our best chance of winning. Problem is like that those trades just aren't very good because they just get back hydro crisis and that's that's really bad for me. So I have to I have to hope they don't have another crisis, don't have anything very good. Life cannot be denied. Okay, it looks like they do have another crisis. All right, there's also that. Yeah, we struggled with um, aggro with the treachery deck, but um, you know a lot of close like close games. But we were um, we were in a, we were in all the games. But our our opponents like had just had really really solid hands. You know, it's just a lot of like turn three Soren, turn three Vivian Arcbow Ranger, those two cards were really hard for us to beat. Um, but I made a couple of changes at the end of the video that I think will help the deck. Just added in a couple of Assassin's Trophies and stuff, just like little small things. But still feel good about the deck. You know, the games didn't go our way, but they were good entertaining games. Yeah, I'm planning on playing it again on Friday. Like this updated list. Not tomorrow, then then there's throwback Thursday. So then Friday. Planning on playing it again after that. Kurtashi played three Sultai Treachery in a row? Wow. Wow. Dang. Um, good mulligan, good mulligan. This has been our one of our MVPs besides the actual Drakes that have been incredible. It's either keep double white or double blue or double red or double blue. We'll keep the double blue, but yeah, you know, Crackling Drake needs both, needs double blue and double red, but unfortunately we don't have that ability. We lost the elementals. Oh, I wrote, I just wrote it down on the wrong column. Sorry. Three, one. Hmm. 
All right, so our fourth mana creature deck. Fourth land or elf deck. Is this green white elves again? I think it's green white elves again. Yeah, what are the odds of that? That we'll play two green white elves. So I want a Clarion. This, you know, they could have like a, a bigger, like a four toughness thing. They get punished for, for waiting. And not killing land or elf. All right, so we have to kill this thing now. Otherwise, that will get too big. All right, they do have a four toughness thing. We should be able to race that thing. That's a good draw. Now a land gets him another one. That was a really good draw. That was likely the best draw in their deck. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling good about this one anymore. Because they probably are gonna draw a land. By this point. Ooh, no land. Alright, Caesar. Where we had our worst draw on the deck, Spell Pierce. And that's a good draw for me. Gets rid of that. <clears throat> that Growth Chamber Guardian that I'm really scared of. Now draw the land. Nope. Drakes are good. Double block. Nah. All right, this looks really good for us now. That top deck second Clarion. Yeah, I have to have a spell on the stack to be a target for the peers. Yeah, if we yeah, if we would draw a spell we could just cast it and cast some spell pierces. Hey, how about that? Alright. Deafening Clarion. Doing its thing. It's easier when they don't have when their big creature is in a 5-6 reach. <laughs> Certainly makes that a lot easier. So if I cut the spell pierces and the veto, we can bring in the time wipe. I don't know, is the Chandra too slow at 6 mana? Probably. Maybe I want Melody. Yeah, Chandra at 6 mana is probably too slow. Could play a Melody, could play a Saheeli or a Ral. I really wish we had just that this fourth Clarion in here where we just like cut some of these against these decks where we cut like some of these counter spells, have like the time wipe and this extra Clarion in here. I mean, I guess it's the Melody. Four mana, we could steal like a Growth Chamber Guardian before it adapts, maybe. I don't know. Take like a bigger Pelt Collector at three mana. Ugh. I like how fast the, the Drakes turn the corner for a control deck, though.
Yeah, Crackling Drake is real good. A pretty underrated card. Well. Yeah, okay. We got two more matches, but we're going to win this one, and then we're going to win the next one, and we're going to be 5-1. and one. And then it'll be time for your dinner, Hawkeye. Killing that thing before it goes, and I guess it's with Strike. You know, Strike can go upstairs, but having that that uh, fourth damage on certain cards could be really important. Play this thing. I don't really need a Clarion this second. Yeah, get another one of those out of their hand. Drakes are so good. They just play defense, force the opponent to overextend, and then you clarion. on. So good. All right, four and one. I would like to play one more small creature deck, please. Not, not five, six. Reach creatures. All right, here we go. Final boss. <laughs> yeah, DR and standard all over again. Final boss time. Here we go. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Mono Red. Especially if we draw Clarion. I think our deck can have a pretty good Mono Red matchup. <laughs> it's pretty good. After that play, opponent couldn't Clarion playing. <laughs> Uh, not so sure about this keep. It's probably fine, though. We're on the play, right? Hopefully. Yep. Yeah, Clarion, swing with Drake. Yeah, good. We're on the, on the play. That'll get you there against a lot of red decks. But it looks like our opponent's playing a blue deck. Opponent. Don't have disconnection issues. Don't have disconnection issues.
That's too bad. Looking for Shockland. Are they there now? Okay, now they're there. Definite connection issues. But I have definite red mana issues. So Bant with Qu Quench. That one feels like Bant Flash. Um, I did put the Spell Pierce to the bottom because we needed mana. Or we needed red mana. But now I wish I had Spell Pierce. Let's might as well play this. Like, they can't syncopate it. it. Has to be basically Essence Scatter. Okay. Yeah, or Quench, I guess, yeah. Or it could just be this card that's in their graveyard. No! It's another Quench. I guess I should have played around Quench. But I was thinking, like, get it down before they get to the three mana counters. You know, Absorb, Sabotage, all, all those things that are a lot more commonly played. Well, this could be bad for us. We could have... A bunch of dead cards here if they're just going to be like if they're like a hardcore counter spell deck but we'll see if we find two more huh it's not a card i was expecting if we find two more red sources maybe we can find a niv mizzet that's uncounterable Opponent must have a pretty poor internet connection. There we go. No! Oh no, my downfall, Cavalier Thorns. Never mind. I don't like this match at all. I can't. I can't kill Cavalier Thorns. I mean, I like obviously I can, but I can't because then they just get back these things, and these things are so good. Yeah, our, and I don't think our deck has exile. In the main deck, we have like one lava coil on the sideboard, and it blocks my drakes. I think I like almost everything about our deck. The one thing I don't like is I don't we just we don't have any any good answer to Cavalier Thorns at all. I don't know if there is any good answer to Cavalier Thorns, but we we don't have one. I mean, I guess it just has to be white enchantment removal. Yeah, it is going to kill me. Ether Gust isn't really a good answer. It just puts it back on top. You could Ether Gust in response to the trigger, but like once it's already on the battlefield, like right now, drawing an Ether Gust wouldn't really be useful because they just play it again. Yeah, I, I think probably like Prison Realm, Mixalon's Binding would be the best options. Yeah, I think all of the Cavaliers are uneven power toughness, aren't they? Like the black one's a 4-5, the white one's a 3-6. Uh, the red one is a 6-5. And what's the other color? Blue. The blue one is a 5-5. Five five. So no, so not Gales. So Justice Strike would kill the blue or the red, but not the other ones.
so big. I mean, I could just go to the... I could just... Oh, no, I can't... We already have a loss. I was like, I can't concede the match and go to the next one. It's like, I don't know why it takes our, my opponent so long to, to do that. Like, play their cards. Alright, so we're going to try Melody. Maybe we try to Melody Cavalier Thorns. Cost 7 mana, but... Hmm. That's weird. I guess they are playing a bunch of counter spells. Two. Chandra is six mana and kills it, which I guess that's better than seven mana. Probably don't need God's Willing, actually. God's Willing does let me get through. All right, so the problem with Spell Pierce is they usually, like, they probably have, like, a whole bunch of mana. Yeah, but it's, it's uncounterable, six mana deal six. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know. I, I don't have anything good. I could... Hmm... I just play these. No, we'll just do. Let's try this. I mean, they got like the quenches and stuff, so maybe like you know, I could go with Veto since they have quench instead of Melody and Chandra. Okay, good looking hand. I don't think I have any black mana for dispersal. Hmm. Throw to Clarion. I feel like I'm probably gonna want Clarion. possible my opponent's more frustrated at the game than I am like they're you know, like they're just sitting here like trying to play their land and it's like super delayed Yeah, Disdainful Stroke's a good counter spell for it. That's a good counter spell for it. But when you have like Veil of Summer and everything and like if it's actually if it's already in play yeah my opponent's definitely having com computer problems This is a beating. Last match of the night. 
Yeah, the one loss with Drake's was another elemental deck. Just, just teamer elementals. Um, that was the loss earlier also. Cavalier of Thorns has lived up to its name. Spell Pierce would be bad for me to see. Yay, yeah, no Spell Pierce. Alright, keep it in the land so we can have Niv Mizzet next turn. And the third Risen Reef. Really? I'm so jealous of this prison realm. So jealous. My opponent's just like, yeah, why, why aren't you playing this card to get rid of big creatures? What are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. This is over. Yeah, that's what that's what Risen Reef will do for you. Give you everything. third one so like we've played all six of our lands our six land drops they have the you know so they have three six seventy nine ten so they have ten lands so they've hit an extra four land drops gross yeah this is the de the definition of a mythic uncommon for sure all right, so they got some kind of spell. Uh, this is such a waste of time to... With their deck acting up like... Or, like, with their computer acting up like this. I certainly feel bad for them if, like, if they play every single game like this, if they're, like, trying to click OK or whatever. That's got to be so frustrating on their side if that if this is what all their games are like. Quench is the only Quench and Syncopate are the only counter spells we've seen from them so far that cost two or less, and I can pay for Quench and Syncopate with Coil Shock. I don't know why they played it there, but oh well. Corn 
Come on, Enigma Drake, you can do it. If we draw like an Opt or a Charter Course into a Lightning Strike. No, it had to be like Opt, Opt. It had to be like Card Draw, Card Draw, Lightning Strike. Or like Discovery that also puts a bin in the a card. Or like Discovery that puts a spell in the yard. And Strike. Or Charter Course that puts a... A spell in the yard and strike. Do I even have any enchantment removal in my deck? Anywhere? No, nowhere. We're playing white, we have no enchantment removal. Back to our turn. Okay, nothing. All right, we'll wait another minute, see if we get to attack. Okay, we get to attack. Damage is through. All right. It's always like that at the like these kind of matches are always at like the end of the night too. Chandra Emblem could do it. Can't be countered. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Emblem. Let's get toasty. Opponent's playing on. So we, they do have enchantment removal as far as God's willing is concerned. Do we want to add in Veto? Or even like Rao, like if it's, you know, a long game like that. I oh, know they, they flooded out pretty good. That helped us. I kind of want to play this row. Let's play that over this melody. Nah, melody cool. Let's play it over... Over time wipe? Is time wipe even good? <laughs> Take out a shock. <laughs> All right, game three. Game three. Yeah, just a strike kills 
blue cavalier and can do five damage to a green cavalier. So it can help us out there. So yeah, I think Justice Strike is good. But we haven't we haven't like really seen like Land War Elf from him, which is why I'm taking out Shock. Because like the main man, the mana creature the only mana creature we've seen is this Leafkin Druid. So Shock, the only thing that we've seen that kills, it's like just like the Risen Reef and. Hmm. Basically, do I want to stro strike? <laughs> Do I want to strike this O3? And I think so. So next turn we'll strike the O3 and have opt, you know, both things on their turn. Yeah, look, they're probably holding up for Old Mystic. Well, the problem is they get their trigger. Hopefully they don't mill over anything that good. See, it's like we kill it, but then they get Krasis. Or even Risen Reef. So it's like, what's the point of killing this thing? We're gonna resolve the Crackling Drake while we can. All right, so we we found the problem. Certainly found the problem with our deck is this card right here. Can't beat it. I don't have anything to do here. Strike race. These things have reach. This this blocks my creature. on auto tap <sighs> auto tap you're killing me <laughs> like looking over here because the hawkeye's in front of the screen uh, i need all three red sources i guess i guess this should work because we can still pay for syncopate here because you know basically worried about a counter spell Okay. I'm glad they're not getting back Krasis. That's good. I can kill Ceratops with Justice Strike. So yeah, we're good to go there. Let's change the song.
And next turn, yeah, so next turn the plan is Clarion and Justice Strike. Like, basically we need Clarion for lifelink. Justice Strike kill the Ceratops. I guess, is it possible that I kill them? They're like at 11. Don't think I'd have lethal here, right? Especially not if they have a spell. Clutch God's willing. Ooh, Charter Course could do it. Charter Course could do it. We did it. I think we did it, Hawkeye. I think we did it. We did it, Hawkeye. Man, I was so close to conceding that one. With when there was the two Cavalier Thorns in play. And uh and for like how slow everything was going, I was really close to conceding that. But I was like, no, it's the last game. Let's stick through it. Who knows? We'll kill this Cavalier of Thorns. And... But then, yeah, they did not get back Krasis. Like, basically, they get back Krasis, I die. But they got back the Ceratops. So then I had, I had a chance. So there we go. So honestly, I, I really liked this deck. I really liked the low curve and everything. Um, our eight Drakes were awesome. I think the that's the only thing that I that that I think the deck that I'm like really worried about is Cavalier of Thorn. That and like we don't have any enchantment removal, which is kind of silly. But we still beat the Reclamation deck without any enchantment removal. Um. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, they really didn't need to attack with the other Cavalier of Thorns either. But, um. I don't really have a great suggestion for Cavalier Thorns. Like maybe a couple like Prison Realms in the sideboard and or Ixalan's Binding, like those co those cards. You know, Binding can like keep the other one stuck in hand, but does cost another mana. Um, that would be like the my main suggestion there. Um, I'm not sure exactly over what. I don't like love Sahili, but I understand that's like more for control. Uh, just, to, but still don't love it, but. Um, oh yeah, enchantment removal. Yeah, I don't like enchantment removal either. Yeah, no, I understand not wanting to play enchantment removal because it, it does slow the deck down a lot. It's not something I'd want main deck. It would be just like a one or a two of in the sideboard because of Cavalier of Thorns being unbeatable, basically. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not something I'd want to focus on kind of thing. Um, yeah, Night Fury. Um, I played, I played a... Uh, if you check out the YouTube channel, go to the playlist with Rotation Proof decks. I played a Rotation Proof Drakes. It wasn't Jeskai. Three colors is kind of tough. So it was just blue. It was just blue, red. And, um, you know, because there's no Enigma Drake. That's That card's rotating. So it was just blue, red. So I had Terramander instead. Um, but yeah, you can kind of, you can check that out. See, see what you think of that. Um, but yeah, so I recommend trying like, yeah, like trying like a Binding there um i don't yeah i don't think pacifism uh you could go no that that doesn't work can't block no i don't think you want just can't block 
No, never mind, because it still has reach. So I was thinking there's like a one mana enchant, Sky Tether. Has Defender, loses flying, but but the but it still has reach, so that doesn't work. Sky Tether doesn't work. Um Yeah, I, I don't remember if I had Niv or not in the rotation proof one. I remember I had Blue Cavalier. And if you want to play Niv, you can play Niv over Blue Cavalier. I might not have played Niv because, the, you know, the blue, 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 red, red, red with the rotation proof mana base. But again, you, you can you could change, like, the Blue Cavalier isn't really that necessary. That could, that could be Niv Mizzet in that deck. Anyway, um, that's Jeskai Drakes. Pretty cool little deck here. So thank you for this one, Harand. Thanks, thanks for this deck. Um, looked good. If you're watching it later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Leave a comment also. Always like seeing those. Um, you know, tell me what you would do for uh, Cavalier Thorns uh, there. But thanks so much for watching some Jeskai Drakes, and I'll see you for the next video.